Hello! Today we have the Mini Rares Make It Mini Food Multi Pack Challenge. So, today with these approximately 30 ingredients, we're going to have a husband and wife multi pack challenge. Give me one moment to take everything out and we will be right back. Here is all of the ingredients that we're able to use from the multi pack to create our own recipes. We will also have any extra or leftover ingredients or a little fridge to grab ingredients from if needed. I'm going to grab the Sunny Bros Pizza Crust. It's so cute because in the back it says, feeling lazy? Call now or order now. Isn't that cute? <laughs> well, we're going to be using this Pizza Crust. Let me see what else we're going to grab. We're going to take some of the chocolate chips as well as the chocolate syrup and some almond milk. I know that sounds weird, but hopefully it works. <laughs> so first we're going to grab our pizza crust and to the pizza crust, I want to make a chocolate chip cookie. We're going to go ahead and grab the chocolate syrup I added this piping tool to it. It has really made a difference when I'm trying to be more precise and maybe not get something else completely um, filled with resin. So if you ever get extra of these, save them. They will come in handy. So the first thing we did is add just a little bit of this chocolate syrup and I'm going to mix it with the almond milk because I want to get a lighter color for the chocolate chip pizza cookie so then we're going to take some of the almond milk and combine them hopefully this works finger cross let me grab my little resin tool if you're able to get yourselves one of these little tools I would recommend it I forgot completely how much they were but I think it ended up being a dollar per little tool and it came with three but these are just lengthier so it lets you be more precise without getting your fingers full of resin or you could use gloves too it's completely up to you but now that we have gone ahead and added the almond milk i noticed it was too translucent <laughs> so i had to go back and add some more chocolate syrup let me just go ahead and get this mixed and cured and we will be right back I'll just take a minute here so I have gone ahead and cured it but I want to add a second layer so we're going to repeat the process and now since the bottom layer is cured and not as see-through we could definitely try and hopefully get a lighter, lighter color here at the top this is what it's looking like so far I'm adding some of the chocolate chips I'm going to just space them out a tiny bit and then I'm going to have to cure it and repeat the process. <laughs> so now they're spaced out. I think it's looking good. Let me go ahead and give you a closer look at what it's looking like and cure it. This is what it looks like cured, but I still don't think it looks completely amazing. So we're going to add some bananas. So we're turning our regular chocolate chip pizza to a banana chocolate chip pizza. <laughs> Here are, I think just four bananas will work. They were a little bit bigger than I, I expected. So four will have to do the trick. I added more chocolate chips and now we're going to add just one scoop of ice cream. Maybe we can top it off with a chocolate drizzle. I think that would definitely tie everything together. Let me just make the little drips and we will get this pizza cured. Here it is. Oops. Come back here. So we have our little banana chocolate chip pizza. <laughs> I hope you like it. Here is one last closer look at what this banana chocolate chip pizza looks like. I think it's adorable. I, for the first time, think 
I did a good job <laughs> in this one. Let's see what my husband comes up with. I'm very interested and curious to see what he does. So he grabs some pineapples, some strawberry bananas, some whipped cream, the one with the little cherry on top, the Spumani ice cream. Somebody had commented that this ice cream is actually Italian. That's awesome. We have some Sunny's griddle waffles, some berry syrup. This berry syrup does not come with the multi-pack. I believe he grabbed it from a different um, capsule that we had. He also has some of the Sunny's griddle waffles. These are pink and adorable. Let me see if he takes one out to show you. Yeah, there we go. He's going to go ahead and also start building his recipe. So he's adding some syrup to the waffles. Some nice vibrant pink color. I love it. I believe we used these on the Barbie breakfast. He's adding some of the ice cream to his waffle. Oh, that looks delicious. He's getting it cured. And let's see what he does next. <laughs> so he's going to grab the other waffle, add more of the berry syrup. Just enough to add the whipped cream with the cherry on top, including some of the bananas. And he grabs some sliced strawberries from the fridge and some blackberries. He's just topping it off with a little berry drizzle. Oh, he's going to go for all the colors. That's amazing. He's adding some sprinkles and getting it cured this is what it looks like a little bit closer and we have the other half <laughs> with the ice cream now he's going to add some pineapples he's giving us a closer look at how the pineapples were added and Oh, I see what he's doing. So this is going to be a ice cream sandwich. That is cute. So he has here a waffle ice cream sandwich. That is cute. And he added just some extra ingredients on the side. <laughs> this is really cute. He did a great job. I love how he always has very vibrant and happy and delicious food <laughs> when mine is more a little dull. <laughs> but this is what it's looking like. I think we both did a great job. Let me know which one's your favorite. Either his, we're going to call it pink waffle ice cream sandwich or my chocolate, sorry, banana chocolate chip pizza. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please take care. Bye.